When I was 11, my mom was diagnosed with heart failure. I was spending all this time in the waiting room, just desperate to not end up in the same situation. I had this idea, this really crazy idea. Here's the deal, I'm a six foot two, 340 pound lumberjack, and I'm gonna run the Leadville 100. And at 5 a.m. in the dark, I stood at the starting line of one of the most difficult and most storied ultra marathons in the world. I mean, is this even possible? As it turns out, I am a badass, and nobody was more shocked by this news than me. I crossed the finish line in 29 hours, 52 minutes, and 16 seconds. And I think the moral of the story is, as cliche as it is, we only live, we only live once and we have to make the most of our time. You know, my mom would have given anything to have been here longer. If there's something you wanna do, there's like the crazy thing you've always wanted to do, like, 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 like this is the time, like, like now, like right now. The question I had to answer was, when things get really, really hard, and I'm hungry and dehydrated, and I'm limping down a trail with tears running down my face, how can I possibly run 36 more miles? I finally found the answer, and it's the same answer for anyone who's ever asked themselves, can I do this crazy thing? And the answer I came upon was, you must be smart enough to start, but dumb enough not to quit. That's it. Nothing more. So let's talk about how not to quit.